level. Remember, we marked our hip on the floor level. So I'm going to add enough allowance, okay? I'm going to add like six inches. So I'll pretend having my six inches on this line. You can add six inches. It's actually a maxi gown. It's actually big. So once I connect the six inches, I'll draw the six inches line to the under bust line on a straight course. So once I get to the under bust, next I will do is to connect. You can see how I'm connecting with my curve ruler. Okay, so you have to connect it to touch this. Okay, like this. So, and... After that, I'm going to come over to the construction. So this is what I have. I connect from that four inches to my extension. So if you look at the six inches and it's, it appears small, you can add more to it because the dress is actually maxi. Okay, it's actually big. So, but I'll just pretend connecting, we're having this measurement connected. The most important thing is what you have here should come to the under bust and has to connect to the line there so to create what we have on the on our neckline i'll come over to the neckline to design that what we have so from the center front on the under bust line i'll just come in by uh, two inches and then I'll just come in with my pattern ruler from the mid arm hole. So from the mid arm hole, I'll connect this way. Okay, so once I get in between the chest line and the under bust line, I'll turn my pattern ruler this way and connect. Can you see? So at that point we have that design then i'm going to rule this line i'm going to rule this line all the way to the hem as you can see so what we have here is the plain fabric so the plain fabric runs into the neckline so i want you to note that we have buttons so uh, the buttons i'm going to extend from here and on the neckline, if you are making use of this neckline, neckline is by, by your choice. I'm not going to tamper with my neckline. So this is the button allowance. As you can see right here, these are my button allowance. So this part will be cut on fold. Well, when I separate them, they will be cut on fold. So that is that for the front bodies. So we'll move over to the back bodies right now. All right, so now I'm going to cut. So I want you to note that there's no uh, drop. I didn't put any uh, shoulder drop because we are going to make the upper layer with the back. So this is it. I cut it at that point and I cut on the shoulder line. So this is the neckline. Then this is my button allowance, so I'll just cut from here. In fact, I'm cutting from here because this is the part we are going to separate to attach uh, so to the front. Okay. So I, you know, this is a small scale drafting anyway. So if you notice that you took four inches, because some people from here to here is five inches, it might enter into the sleeve. So if you are making yours and you notice uh, it's like that, you can extend this sleeve, okay? This sleeve can be actually extended and gathered back. I don't know whether you understand what I mean. Instead of taking four inches, because once you, once you separate this right now on your normal drafting, definitely from shoulder to some people midline, is five inches so if you take this sleeve by four inches it won't you can't see it coming to here so you can take this sleeve at seven inches and gather back to four inches as you can see on the thumbnail it was gathered back to four inches so from here to here please 
you can take seven inches instead of four inches so you can be able to cut out this i believe you understand what i mean so i've separated this pattern i'll set it aside we are going to merge it to the back so i'll just cut this part this part is going to be on fold and i cut here right here Okay, so you'll be making your design. Uh, you can, uh, you are going to use different fabrics as you wish. Okay, if you want to do exactly what you have on the thumbnail, you can go about that. So we'll go over to the back right now.